hello everyone you're welcome back to the channel and i hope you all are doing well in today's video i'll show you how i prepare this delicious and mouth watering pot of okra soup show it on your screen and i hope you enjoy watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up my name is Oge, and you're welcome to my kitchen I'll start by steaming my fish. In this video, we are making okra soup with mackerel fish. So mackerel fish is the main ingredient for today's recipe. I already gutted and cleaned the fish thoroughly, as you can see from this video. So next, I'll transfer the fish into my pot and then I'll add some seasoning. To season this, I went in with some chopped onion, blended peppers, seasoning cubes and a little salt to taste. Who else loves eating okra soup with mackerel fish? I love it so much. After adding the seasoning into my pot, I gave it a good stir until they combined properly and then I rinsed out the plates that I used for my peppers and I added the water into the pot. I let it steam for about 5 minutes. While the fish is cooking, I'll introduce you to the rest of my ingredients and then proceed to prepare them as well. The first one I have here is smoked catfish. I love to use dry fish for my soups. I have about three pieces here. To clean this, I'll pour hot water over it and allow it to rest for about five minutes. This is to make the deboning process easy. And after deboning the fish, this is what I have. Next up is crayfish. I also love to use crayfish for my soup because of the rich aroma and taste that it adds to the soup. So after blending my crayfish, this is what I have. The next ingredient I have here is ubu leaf. I'll be using ubu leaf to make the soup. I already washed the ubu leaf. So next, I will slice them up into thin slices. If you don't like adding leaf to your okra soup, it's fine. But if you want to add leaf, you can add ubu leaf or uziza leaf. You can just add any leaf of your choice. But this is what it's looking like after slicing. I also have some yellow scotch bonnet peppers here. These peppers are so spicy. I'll blend this roughly and I'll also set it aside. I added about 3 red scotch bonnet peppers while blending the yellow pepper and this is what it's looking like after blending. I have some fresh and green okra here. I love to talk about the importance of using fresh and green okra when making okra soup because this determines how slimy the soup will turn out and how delicious it will be after cooking. These are already washed, I'll proceed to slice them up and as usual, I'll cut some into thin slices and I'll use my manual grater to grate some. If you are new to the channel, a warm welcome to you. You are the right place and you love it here. Please don't make today your last time. Consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon so you are the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I post lots of amazing videos on this channel and you definitely love it here. If you've been watching my videos and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, come on, what are you waiting for? Kindly hit the subscribe button and not just that, also turn on the post notification so you are the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And to my amazing returnees, you guys are the best. Thank you all for always coming back to watch my videos. You guys are the real MVPs. I see all your love and your support. I don't take it for granted. Thank you for always coming back to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you also love mackerel and okra soup. I love it so much. The first person that thought about this recipe holds a special place in my heart. But not when the mackerel fish scatters inside the pot and leaves lots of bones. So. <laughs> Five minutes after I left the fish to cook, I went back to check on it and this is what it's looking like. As you can see, it's ready. I proceeded to scoop the fish out of the pot because I don't want the fish to scatter inside the pot. Mackerel fish scatters a lot and once it scatters, it leaves a lot of bone inside the soup. Next, I went in with my pre-cooked meat and meat stock. I also added the bone smoked fish. I added the blended peppers, blended crayfish, and I gave it a good stir to combine.
I added palm oil, gave it a good stir to combine, covered the pot and I allowed it to cook for about 8 minutes because I wanted it to boil really well. After about 8 minutes, I went back to check on it and as you can see, it's boiling really well. I went in with the grated okra, used my spoon to break and separate the okra and I allowed it to cook for about 3 minutes. The reason why I added the grated okra first is because I wanted it to release its sliminess because it contains more sliminess as compared to the sliced okra. The reason why I always love to grate my okra or pound it is because I want it to be more slimy. If you don't want that, you can skip that step entirely. You can just slice your okra and use it that way or you can add obono. Obono, obono will also give you that sliminess. So after about 3 minutes, I went back to check on it and it's cooking really well. I gave it a good stir before going in with the sliced okra. At this point, I added more crayfish but this is totally optional, you don't have to do this. Then I tasted for salt and I realized I needed more salt so I added more salt and a little seasoning. Gave it a very good stir to combine, covered and I continued to cook. From this video, you can see how thick the soup is. I added a little water to loosen it up a bit. If you are still watching to this point, thank you so much for staying with me. You are the best and I'm glad you are enjoying the recipe. After cooking for about 3 minutes, this is what it's looking like. I reintroduced this cooked mackerel fish into the pot. After adding the fish, you have to be mindful of how you stir to prevent the fish from scattering inside the pots. The soup is almost ready at this point. You can see how yummy it is. For people that do not like to add vegetable to their soup, this is perfect, it's looking so yummy. But I love to add vegetable and at this point I added my ubu leaves. I gave it a very good stir until they combined properly. And then I covered the pot and I allowed it to simmer for about 2 minutes because I don't want to overcook the ubu leaf. After cooking for 2 minutes, this is what I have. Just look at that. I present to you this pot of yummy, delicious and mouth-watering goodness. The soup is ready and it's time to dish this into my plate. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. That way YouTube can recommend the video to a lot of people. Share this video with your family and friends. Leave me comments in the comment section. I love to read them. And please subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you all for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye!